Hello guys, this is Joe from JC Design and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, use Cinema 4D to cast shadows on an image. Uh, it's a really simple technique and it's probably the easiest thing you're going to do today. So if you just follow along, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a new uh, material. So let me just go down here and I'll create a new material. And then you want to double click on that material and then you want to go up to your color uh, uh, kind of tab here. And then go across to your texture. Click on this little symbol here and you should get a little drop down menu. Now this is an image that I've uh, kind of pre-prepared. I just kind of stole it from uh, the internet so um, I'll put that in a link in the description below if you want to follow exactly what I'm doing or if you want to use your own image that's cool so make sure that you uh, save the image out um, as an RGB and uh, everything should work well so the, the size of this image is uh, 1920 by 1080 so make sure that you kind of save it out at a, a screen size as well just to make uh, the effect look a little bit more easier to upload onto YouTube or wherever you're going to use it so anyway enough of the babble let's carry on so I'll open that up and I'll just click yes on here uh, and then that texture is going to go on to this uh, little material thing here and now what I need to do is I need to create a background. So we'll go up to this tab here and then go down background. Pretty simple, I know. Um, and then pull it across, put it on your background. And it's come in the wrong size. So what we need to do is we need to adjust the size kind of uh, to, to the size of our image. So as I said before, the image was 920 by 1080. So we're going to change the size of the, uh, the image box basically. So if you go into your render settings here and then you go to width and then just put in 1920 by 1080 and then just leave it 72 DPI, uh, leave it frame rate 30, uh, 30 frames per second and then just leave these zero zero uh, click that off and then your image should be exactly the same size as your screen which is what we need to do so what we're going to do is I'm going to take some 3d objects and I'll, I'll what I want to do is I want to cast shadows on the 3d objects onto this image now don't worry it's a really simple process um, but you've just got to do a few things before you actually set it up so first thing we need to do is we need to you see this little uh, box, the this kind of gridded, grid, gridded area. We need to uh, align that to our image. So generally, just find the horizon and then try and line it up with the horizon. It doesn't need to be super perfect. Um, it just kind of needs to be sort of around the, the the horizon area. This line here, if you can see. And I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll just drop in a cube just for now. And then the cube will come in like sort of in perspective. But when we render that, if it renders, come on, render. I know you want to render. There you go. Uh, when we render that, there's no shadows. It looks kind of lifeless and there's nothing really happening in the image. Um, so we need to set up a few different things to, to cast a shadow. So first thing we're going to do is I'll just make this box a little bit smaller just so that we can see a bit of the image behind and uh, you know it's a bit more interesting so I'll just pull that off to the side a bit normally I'll just pull it over here a bit and then so the next thing we'll do is we'll put a, um, a plane in and the same thing as before we're just gonna line up the uh, the plane so just use your kind of your tools at the top here and make this a bit bigger now this should be online because this grid here is kind of in perspective with the image so we can just pull this all the way out and it doesn't need to kind of cover the whole area it just needs to cover where we're going to cast the shadows so I'm pretty happy with that let me just render um, that looks kind of in perspective and yeah so I'll, I'll just go with that so what we're going to do is Obviously, you need to set up your shadows in the kind of the right direction. So we have the sun over here, which is it's obviously a still image. So 
we're not going to do anything fancy with the sun and everything's going to be kind of still and a bit static but for the purposes of the tutorial I'll show you how to set up the light and everything for that so that what we'll do is we'll drop in a light pull the light up and then we'll just pull it over in the di it's as simple as that we'll just pull it in the in the direction of the sun so we'll just get it roughly in the direction and then we'll render that and you s still nothing's happened because we haven't set our light to shadow and then shadow map soft so once we do this we should have a shadow and then so we got a shadow but it's kind of not on not in line so we'll just kind of play around with the uh, the shadow a little bit so that's kind of the direction of the shadow I want I mean I could I could mess around with it forever basically and uh, try and get it to look perfect um, but I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that so what we'll do is I'll just kind of pull this box make this box a little bit smaller and check out the shadow again now it's floating the box so I'll just pull the box down until it reaches the floor under that now now we're getting somewhere that looks kind of cool so what we'll do now is what we want to do is we want to see the image through the uh, the plane that we have the shadow casting onto um, so the way that we do that is we click on the plane and then we pull our texture the image behind up onto the plane and then it'll come in something like this and obviously that's wrong so how the hell do we get it to line up with the image and it's a very simple and easy process to do so the first thing we need to do is we need to take tiled off because that's just gonna uh, wreck the image so we'll take that off and then we need to go to projection and then we need to go down to frontal projection and then already you see that the image is looking well it's pretty much exactly the same as the image on the background so if we render that it's 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 online but we have we can still see the uh, the plane underneath so there's a way that we get rid of that rid of that uh, is we go up to our texture no we go up to our plane and then we right click and then we go to cinema 4d tags and then we go down to compositing and then we click on the compositing and then if we render it uh, nothing's happened so what we need to do is we need to go on compositing background so if we click that uh, it should disappear so now we've got our sun well we never put the sun in there it's part of the image so we've got the shadow in sort of the direction of the sun and um, I'm pretty happy with that to be honest so that that's a very simple way to kind of put objects into uh, using an image uh, putting casting a shadow onto the image um, and you can add as many objects as you want so you could go up and add more objects and pull it over and add and then render and then you've got like lots of different objects so, and you could add in the light as well just to make life easier and so you can see the objects render and then you've got like a soft shadow on um, so the, yeah that's the that's the basic way to uh, composite objects into a image and then cast the shadow uh, I really hope this uh, tutorials help you out guys it's it's pretty simple not very long um, but once you know it you can use it for a lot of different things you don't necessarily have to model too many things you can use an image which is perfect um, so yeah, I've uh, I've done a few I've done a few other examples uh, using exactly the same technique. Um, so sit back, relax, and enjoy those. Thanks for watching the video, and if you like it, please give it a like. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Goodbye.